level of support for the classic races at the Southern 100 has increased measurably in the past couple of years. It's an encouraging sign which one hopes will not be affected by the tragedy here before the TT when one rider was killed in a classic race. Up until that moment, a serious accident in a race like this had seemed such an impossibility. Classic races, one always felt, consisted very much of nice old gentlemen pottering around on motorcycles you wouldn't mind seeing in a museum. It may not be the sport of kings, but surely it is the sport of senior citizens. And as such, not contested tooth and nail, the way we expect the TT stars like Kislock, Fogarty or McCallan to ride. But that death here serves as a reminder that this is motorsport, and it is dangerous regardless of the age of the hardware or the participants. In fact, you might argue that both are likely to become more fragile with age. And speaking of age, hand yourself some nostalgia pills and go back in time with names like Triumph, BSA, Sealy, Commando, Matchless, Air Matchy, and Ducati. Number one is Harrison on the Aldridge Triumph, the 850 machine, and well in command of this classic race. He's followed by number 41, Glenn English, on the Aldridge BSA. Takes a chequered flag. 